What's up? Um, this is my Detroit Lions season prediction. Let me warn you right now. There will be another part to this. This is this. It will be an updated version to this video in the future. So, but this is my Lions predictions for right now. That's what I'm doing for right now. Lions predictions at this moment of time. I'll make an updated version a little later. That's basically what I'm gonna do. Now, first off, I want to say people having us going four and twelve. Why? Because we lost Calvin Johnson. Do you really believe we gonna go four and twelve? Because we lost one player that's on the decline, by the way, and he wasn't even our biggest threat last year. Even though I love Calvin Johnson, he's a beast. But come on, people, keep it real now. If you watch the Lions games, we all know he was slowing down. We all know that Golden Tate was getting double teamed more than Calvin Johnson last year. And I'm not saying that just to be a, a D bag, but it's the truth. Golden Tate had more double teams his way than Calvin Johnson did. I seen Calvin Johnson get more single coverage than I ever had last season. Now the people that say we're going four and twelve because of one player, you're sadly mistaken. Now I'm gonna tell you why. This is why I would think this is why I think the Lions schedule and their record gonna be at this point in time. My thoughts can change in another month or so. But right now, this is my thoughts. Now, September eleventh, aka um the 2001 bomb and aka um patriot day that's what 9-11 is called now 9-11 is a holiday now 9-11 is called patriot day so patriot day we go we at the indianapolis Colts. um oh yeah by the way rest in peace for the people that died 9-11 but we're going against the indianapolis Colts on the road now this game, I can see the Lions, honestly, I can really see us losing this game. The simple fact of the matter is, it's the first game of the season. Number two, we on the road. And number three, Andrew Luck going to be back. Them is three reasons. And number four, I think the Colts, their defense is not great, but it's not trash either. You know what I'm saying? So... The Colts, they can, they, they can be one of them teams that could be back in the division this year. So I had the Lions losing this game for some reason. It's just a funny reason why I had the Lions losing this game. Even though we lost to the Colts four years ago, and it, it made me sick to my stomach. But I can see the Lions losing this game. Now, September 18th, week two, um, versus the Tennessee Titans. Now, the Lions haven't beat the Tennessee Titans in, like, a gajillion years. They haven't beat the Tennessee Titans, what, since what? What, 1990, what? I don't know, was it 95 or 99 or something like that? It was, we ain't beat the Tennessee Titans since, I think, 1999 or 1998 or something like that. It's been a minute since we beat the Tennessee Titans. I'm going to tell you that right now. We ain't beat the Tennessee Titans in so long. In so long. If you were like, only Lions fans know this. Only true Lions fans know this. And I know this. I know this. We haven't beat the Tennessee Titans since the 90s. That's a long time, man. That's a long time. So, I had the Lions finally breaking that streak and beating the Tennessee Titans. I had them beating the Tennessee Titans finally. Because I think the Lions is a, a superior team. They got the better quarterback, in my opinion. The Lions got better receivers, in my opinion. And they got the better defense, in my opinion. So, I'm going to take the Lions to win this game. I, I'm not going to give off scores and nothing like that. I'm just I'm going to have the Lions win this game. I think the Lions have beat the Tennessee Titans. Finally. We haven't beat the Titans in so long. So, I know... I know all the Lions records because I'm a Lions fan. We haven't beat them in forever. So, yeah. Week three, 
Um, this is a one o'clock game too. At the Green Bay Packers. They give us the Packers game early in the season. <laughs> we beat them last season in Lambeau. The first time in like 24 years until last season. So it's kind of, <laughs> I don't know how this game going to go. But honestly, I'm going to have the Lions lose this game. The simple fact is, I just don't think we're going to beat the Packers on the road this year. I just don't see it again. I don't see us beating them again. I think the Packers are going to beat us. Just being honest, Jordy Nelson back, the team more healthier. So, I just see the Packers beating us, man. I think the Lions will lose that game. Because um, it's the Packers, and you know the NFL is going to make sure they win games and shit. So, but yeah, week four, we at the Chicago Bears. I'm going to have the Lions... Win this game. I, I think the Lions will take this game from the Bears. I know it's on the road, and I know it's a soldier field. But if it, is it me, or is that the Chicago Bears play the Lions harder at four field than they do at soldier field? I don't know. Is that me, or just it just seemed like it? They always play them. I know we losing. Cal we don't have Calvin Johnson, but we got Golden Tate, and we got Marvin Jones. He's still a solid pickup. I think TJ Jones is gonna break out. I think Ebron gonna I think Ebron gonna step up. I think Abdullah gonna step up. See, Stafford gonna be a better quarterback this season because he he gonna throw he ain't gonna just be looking to one target like this. He gonna look into other guys to throw to. So I, I take the Lions to beat the Bears in this game. Jay Cutler is not better than Matthew Stafford. I'm tired of people saying that. He's not better than Matthew Stafford. They're not the same quarterback either. They're not on the same level. Matthew Stafford is better than Jay Cutler, period. Always have been, always will be. He always been better than Jay Cutler, period. He's more consistent than Jay Cutler. So I take the Lions to win this game. Next game, week, what is this? Week five versus the... Philadelphia Eagles. Nah, we blew out the Philadelphia Eagles last year, 45 to 14 on Thanksgiving Day. And we at home against the Eagles again. Wow. I, I say the Lions will take this game. I think the Lions will beat the Eagles. I know the Eagles, they usually do better in earlier part of the season, so I don't know how this team going to beat. And you know Jim Schwartz, the defensive coordinator, he's going to do everything in his power to try to win this game for the Philadelphia Eagles as a defensive coordinator. He's going to try to coach up a really good game because we the team that fired him. But I see the Lions beating the Philadelphia Eagles. I know they got Carson Wentz, but honestly, I think he's highly overrated. I think he is highly overrated. I don't think he's going to be as good as people say he's going to say he's going to be. I don't believe that. I really don't. I think the Eagles traded up and they they hunted, they messed up their franchise for the next couple of years. I really believe that. They that set their franchise back in my opinion. I think the Lions will beat the Eagles again. They probably blow them out in this game too while you playing. I think the, the Lions will beat. I think this is the game. Matthew Stafford might have a big game. I, I see the Lions beating the Eagles. So that's another win. Uh, week four, five, week six. Now we're going against the St. Louis Rams. Now the Rams beat us last season. I don't know how that happened. I don't have a clue. I don't know how in the blue hell they beat us last season in St. Louis. I mean, not the St. Louis Rams. They now the Los Angeles Rams. I don't know how they beat us last season. I don't understand it. I still don't get it. That game was winnable as hell. I don't get it. <laughs> but I had the Lions taking this game. <laughs> the simple reason why I had them taking this game is because I think the Lions want revenge. And this is a home game this time. And the Rams, I, I just, I, I don't see the Rams being as good defensively this upcoming season. I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm not saying the Rams are gonna be garbage, but I'm just saying I'm not. 
I'm just not seeing it. I don't know how Jared Goff going to be. I just don't see the, a rookie quarterback coming up in the fourth field beating Matthew Stafford. I don't see it. I just don't see it. So I had the Lions winning that game, too. It's going to be a close game. It's probably going to be something like 24-20, something like that. I see the Lions winning that game against the Rams. Now, next game, week seven, we go against the – we we at home against the Redskins in the den. Again, three straight home games. Three. Three straight home games. So, I had the Lions winning against the Redskins. I know – we struggled against the Redskins in the past, but I, I think the Lions will take this one. They'll beat Kirk Cousins. I Kirk Cousins had a good season. I think Kirk Cousins on the come up, but just not this game. I think Stafford going. I think the Lions is going to outperform the Redskins. Their defense in this draft, I don't see where they improve their defense that much. I really don't. I think the Redskins defense is still pretty poor. I don't I don't think they'll be able to I don't think they'll be able to win this game. But anything can happen. But I, I just think the Lions could beat them. It just I just think they could beat them. I think the Lions are a more talented team. I know the Redskins won a division that went to the playoffs last year. Well, they won a division and got killed by the Packers, so it didn't really matter. You know, because their defense is not good enough. And I don't see they improve their defense in this draft that much. So I had the Lions winning this game. Now we ate at the Houston, Texas. Now this game could be this game could go either way. Now I I have the Lions losing this game. I have them losing this game seriously because the they the Texans their defense is a motherfucker. It, their defense can be a that defense is a motherfucker. You got JJ Watt. Um, you got <laughs> Vince Wilford. You got Joseph, and you got some motherfuckers on that defense. Uh, Brian Cushing, uh, Brian Cushing, you got some motherfuckers on that defense, man. Defense is a beast. And then you got you got Hawkins, DeAndre Hawkins on the other side. <gasps> now they drafted uh, Will Fuller, the the uh, speed back, the speed running back, not the running back, the speed receiver. The guy that could take the top off the of defenses. So I, I just they got a lot of speed on their offense. I don't see the Lions winning this game for some reason. It's gonna be like one of the low scoring games that the Lions lose. I think the Lions will lose this game. They on the road against the Texans. They they don't play the Texans that often, but I, I just don't see them winning this game for some reason. I'm just being realistic with you. I don't see them winning this game. So I had the Lions losing that one. Next game, week, um, what's this, week nine? Week nine against the Vikings, at the Vikings. I had the Lions losing this game, too. I had the Lions losing this game, too. <laughs> I, I think the Vikings are going to beat us in, in their home turf because they're trying to defend their home turf. I think the Vikings are going to be one of the best teams that that team gonna be tough as hell. That defense gonna be a motherfucker. I don't know how the Lions gonna beat. I don't know how we gonna beat the motherfuckers. I'm not saying the Vikings gonna sweep us, cause I don't. I don't see that shit happening again. I do not see the Vikings sweeping us again. I do not see it. I don't see it. <laughs> I'm just being honest. The Lions gonna get them at least once. They gonna get them at least once. I, I just, I'm just saying that right now. But this this is not the game they're going to get them. They're going to get them on Thanksgiving, I think, but they're not going to get them here. So I had the Vikings winning this game and beating the Lions. This game, I think the defense is going to be too much still. I don't know if the offensive line is going to be able to protect Matthew Stafford. I don't know. We're going to have to see about that. So I had the Vikings beating us, and then we're going to buy. And then this is week 11. Now we're going against the, we're going against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now look. I had the Lions winning this game. I know the Jaguars improved their team and whatnot. I know they have, but this I don't think the Jaguars are ready yet. I don't think they're ready yet to win yet. I think they are a one year away to becoming a real co serious playoff contender. I think they're one year away. I don't think they're there yet. They need a cup, uh, maybe a couple more pieces. 
I just don't think they're ready yet. I just don't see it. So I had the Lions winning this game because this team, they're young. You know, the Jaguars are young, so is the Lions. But the Lions, they they got more experience. The Jaguars are young. They're up and coming, but I don't see them winning this game against the Lions. I don't see it. I see the Lions beating them because this is a young team. They, they're still learning it. They're still learning this shit, so there you go. But I think the Jaguars do have a bright future. Next game, Thanksgiving versus the Vikings at home. The Lions will win this game. I think they'll be able to set Adrian Peterson out. I think I think Matthew Stafford, he'll be able to light up that team on Thanksgiving, man. I I know the Packers, they got, I mean, the Vikings, they got a good defense. They got a good linebacker core, and they got a good secondary. But still, it's so it's something about Thanksgiving and Matthew Stafford that just clicks. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what it is, but when it's Thanksgiving Day, he just he go off. He goes the fuck off. Last couple Thanksgivings, he just been lighting teams up, putting up 350 plus and shit. Just lighting just lighting motherfuckers up like it's nothing. Just lighting teams up. So I, I just I think the Lions are gonna win this game against the Vikings. I think this is the game Ebron might go off. I don't know. Ebron was talking shit to um, Anthony Barr, talking about, we got you on Thanksgiving. We got you on Thanksgiving. <laughs> people And then people want to talk down on Eric Ebron, like, why are you talking shit before the season starts? Well, the Minnesota Vikings was talking shit to the Lions last year. They was talking shit to us, talking about how they going to beat us and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? How they going to... Ever since Griffin up in here talking shit, talking about he going to beat the Lions and all this bullshit. But if Ebron does it, it's a fucking problem. Get the fuck out of here, man. That's the that's the 97.1 bullshit. Fuck them. Especially Mike Valenti with that bullshit. You, oh, boy, he, he shouldn't say nothing. Motherfucker, you can't have confidence. The fuck? I'll be talking shit, too, if, it was, if I'm going against the goddamn Vikings. I'll be talking mad shit. I'll try to get inside their fucking head. That's that's just me though. I think the Lions will beat them motherfuckers up on Thanksgiving. This what is this? I'm on week week ten, week eleven, week twelve, week thirteen. We at the Saints. Now, I don't know how in the hell this team is going to be by week thirteen. The Saints. We either can see a, a team that could be contending for the wild card position or a team that's completely dog shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what. Saints team we're going to have. But I know one thing. The Lions in the past two years beat the Saints. They beat the Saints at four field two years ago. And then last season, they they destroyed the fucking Saints. Matthew Stafford carved their ass up. He had 88% completion percentage. And and I know the score was 35 to 27, but realistically, the game wasn't even as close as the score indicated. It really wasn't. The Lions was letting them score. They The Saints got their points... The last time they faced the Saints, the Saints got their points in garbage time, basically. The Lions weren't playing them that hard towards the end of the game because the game was already over. <laughs> Shit. So, yeah, but I, I say the Lions will beat them. I say the Lions will beat the Saints. I think they'll beat the Saints again at um at um the Superdome. The <laughs> The Superdome, they'll beat them in the Superdome again. I'm not saying they're going to – I'm not saying Stafford going to put up motherfucking 500 yards and got them seven touchdowns and shit. No, I'm not saying no shit like that. But I, I can see the Lions beating them again, a score of something like 28 to 23 or some shit. Something like that, I can see them beating the Saints again. I don't see the Saints improve that much this be, during this draft. I don't see them improve especially on the defensive side of the ball. Their defense haven't got that much better. It really haven't. I still think the Saints defense is going to be atrocious. It's still going to be garbage as hell. So I I have the Lions beating the Saints again, <laughs> you know, because I, I just don't trust the Saints. I don't trust them towards especially this point. This point of the season, I don't trust the damn Saints. I just don't trust them. So that's – 10, week, okay, week 10, week 11, week 12, week 13, week 14, we go against the Chicago Bears. 
We're going to beat the Bears, man. We're going to beat the Bears. No, no, I say the Bears. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I say the Bears finally beat the fucking Lions this year. In four field. They're going to beat our ass. It's not going to be a blowout. But they're going to beat us. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest with you. I think the Bears is going to finally beat the fucking Lions. Finally. <laughs> God damn it. Finally. <laughs> it's not going to be a blowout, though. But they're going to finally beat us probably like a field goal or some shit. They're going to beat the Lions like 20, like 38 to 25. I mean, 38 to 35 or some shit. I can see them beating them. You know what I'm saying? So. I had the Bears beating us in this game. I'm going to be honest with you. I think the Bears going to beat us. I'm just being realistic with you. So, yeah. Week 15, we have the New York Giants. Um, Eli, Eli um, Madden and motherfucking Odell Beckham Jr. with his hermaphrodite hairdo. Um, <laughs> we going against the damn Giants. You know the Giants. I, I, the Giants. I, uh, this team is hard to judge because they they got a lot of big name free agents and all this shit. But realistically, like Bob Quinn says, ultimately that does not work, and it doesn't work. Period. Yeah, man. I just uh, the Giants. I really think the Lions going to beat the Giants. I I don't. I know the Lions on the road. But the Giants, one thing about the Giants, they cannot hold four quarter leads to save their life. That team, the Giants, they can be a playoff contender this year, but I just don't see them beating the Lions this game. For some reason, I think the Lions are going to beat them. I know they got a, uh, all these big name free agents and all this bullshit, but did, was their draft that great? No. It was all right. They big name free agents. Like like I said, the Dolphins did that shit a year or two ago, and they haven't got them shit. They haven't won more games. As a matter of fact, they lost more motherfucking games. So I see the Lions beating their ass. I can see the Lions probably blowing their ass the fuck out. Honest to God, <laughs> I don't I don't see the Giants really beating us for some reason. I just don't see it. I, I don't know. I don't know why people are so scared of the fucking Giants. I'm not scared of the Giants. There's ain't nothing to be scared of. The Giants, they don't intimidate me. They don't intimidate me. Them motherfuckers don't intimidate me. The Saints don't intimidate me. The um Bear, the Bears don't intimidate The Packers don't intimidate me. There's no team on the schedule that scares me for real. The only team that maybe No, there ain't no teams that really on the schedule that scares me. No, none of these teams. But the Giants definitely don't fucking scare me. Especially towards the end of the season. They really ain't shit. They really not shit. So, I had the Lions beating their ass. Next game, I, I reason why I had the Lions beating them because I know Eli won two Super Bowls. But I'm going to be completely honest with you. Matthew Stafford is better than Eli Manning. I'm sorry. I said it. There, I said it. Stafford is better than Eli Manning. Eli is so overrated. It's not even funny. Eli Manning is one of the top five most overrated quarterbacks in the NFL. I'm sorry. Stafford is better than Eli. I don't give a fuck how many rings Eli got. Only reason why Eli got them two rings is because of the fucking defense, especially in 2007. That defense was the reason why he won that fucking Super Bowl. Don't give me that bullshit. Eli is overrated. And then in 2011, the, de the defense was the reason why they won that damn Super Bowl. So I don't want to hear that shit. Because they, they held the Patriots. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, there I said it. Stafford better than Eli. Sue me. Now, nah, next game. Um, Dallas, we at the Dallas Cowboys week 16. Let me first start by saying this. Fuck the Cowboys. I hate that fucking team with a passion. They some bitches. They some pussies. After the the way they robbed us in 2014 in a wild card game, that's some bullshit. The way they, the NFL just fucking robbed the 
fuck out of the Lions. They it was a flash that haven't been called, all kinds of shit. They they took away the pass interference call. They fucking ain't give the flat to Darius Bryant when he ran on the field for the fuck with his helmet off. They ain't called shit. But I, I get it. It was some things the Lions fucked up on. But if that pass interference was called and it, the play was stuck, just imagine that fucked up the Lions' drive. Just imagine the Lions scored a touchdown. They they could have scored a touchdown on the drive. Who fucking know? They could have scored a touchdown in one fucking game. You don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So fuck the Cowboys. Anyway, I think the Lions going to but I think Stafford looking looking for revenge in this game. I think he has something to prove. I think he's looking for revenge against the Dallas Cowboys. I think he's going to come up into Jerry's World or AT&T Stadium. He's going to come up in there and bust their ass. I think I really believe that Stafford going to have a big-ass game on Monday Night Football. He's going to throw for like 330 yards and like four touchdowns and shit and no interceptions. Complete motherfucking 28, 28 of fucking 37 pass attempts. Just fucking carving their ass up. I can see him doing some shit like that. And, <laughs> yeah, I, I can see him doing some shit like that. Period. I think the Lions will bust their ass. I, I think they're going to annihilate them. I hope they fucking blow their ass the fuck out by, like, fucking 64 to 10 or some shit. I hope they destroy this motherfucking team. I think they can beat the Cowboys. I think, I think they really can. I know the Cowboys got Ezekiel Elliott and all this bullshit. I ain't motherfucking scared. Just because they got Elliot? You think I'm fucking scared? You think I'm scared of Elliot? You think I'm scared? <laughs> no. They still gonna bust the Cowboys' ass. It don't matter. <laughs> it don't fucking matter. They gonna bust their ass. I, I had the Lions beating them. I had the Lions beating them in this game. Stafford will outperform Tony Romo again. Uh, in, in their duo again. So, yeah, I had the Lions winning this game. Not a game against the Packers, dog. I'm going to have the Lions win this game. Simple reason. I, I think the Lions will win this game because they're at home. That's the only reason why I had the Lions win it. They're going to split with the Packers. They're going to win this game. The Lions going to be the surprise team in the NFL, in, in my opinion. As of right now, I think they'll beat the Packers because this game could have playoff implications for both of these teams. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I predict that it's going to be three teams from the NFC North with three with ten wins, at least three with ten wins or higher. I, I think the NFC North going to be the most competitive division in the entire NFL. Period. NFC North is is way better. Is way better than NFC South. Is better than the NFC West. Okay? It's better than the NFC. It's damn sure better than the NFC East. And it's better. It's just better, man. I mean, fuck. I, I, the NFC North is better. So, I had the Lions winning this game. So, what's their record I have so far? How many wins and losses? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. As of right now, I thought about it. I have the Lions at right now. I had them sitting at 10 and 6. 10 and 6 as their record. 10 and 6. I'm not even playing. 10 and 6. That's that sounds realistic. 10 and 6. I ain't say up some ridiculous like 13 and 3, 14 and 2. No, 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 no. 10 and 6. I think the Lions are gonna be a 10 and 6 team that missed the playoffs, though. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? They're gonna go 10 and 6, but miss the playoffs. <laughs> So, that's my predictions. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about this. I'm out of here. Peace.